everyone, my name is Caroline Yates and I'm here to speak up about immigration reform. I want to start off with a statement, they take our jobs. How many times have you heard that and other sweeping generalizations about the ways immigrants are doing economic damage to our country? Well, I'm here to tell you that immigration is a serious problem, but not in that sense. Immigration is a serious humanitarian issue that's facing our nation today. In the 10 years after the 1995 Operation Gatekeeper legislation was passed, 3,500 immigrants died crossing the Arizona border alone. Between October 2010 and September 2011, 138 immigrants have died crossing that same border. Not only are these immigrants dying, but they're leaving their homes, their families, their livelihoods, and everything they've ever known, risking so much for the chance at a better life in this country. Furthermore, undocumented immigrants are often left at the margins of our economy through these arbitrary legal distinctions. These distinctions create a sort of permanent underclass in our economy, meaning that people are doomed to poverty. Indeed, our economic system depends on this cheap labor. Since the 1940s, it's, our economic structure has kind of depended on using cheap labor as a source for furthering economic development, meaning that we've moved factories abroad and brought workers to this country. So if immigrants take our jobs, it's because there's a very specific economic demand for it. Tied up in this economic system is also a political issue. The governments of our country and countries abroad are very much involved in immigration as a problem. Indeed, many of the immigrants you see coming to this country are from nations where the U.S. has been involved since colonial times. For me personally, the biggest problem with immigration in our country is racism. And we see this through legislation that has been passing in many states in the recent years, specifically Arizona's SB 1070, as well as Alabama's HB 56, both of which essentially legalize racial profiling, asking police and other officials to make generalizations about who is, illegal, who is legal and who is not. In my own personal experience, I've met with one, I met one legal immigrant who was detained for over 48 hours simply because his license plate was crooked. This speaks to the current and historic racism in U.S. legislation. I want to close with a, with a quote from the U.N. Declaration of Human Rights, which says, everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. Immigrants are people, bottom line, legal or undocumented. For me, that's the way forward in solving the issue of immigration in this country.